I'm Darcy Brown and I'm from Leeds. Barney is nine weeks now, um, so yeah, he's not been here long. Although it's gone so quick. I, I, I was thinking I would bring him and he was going to be one of the youngest, but he's nowhere near. <laughs> Um, amazing. Today he's actually been different, but he's usually such a passive baby. He's really content. Um, so yeah, he's, he's really good. Not not many cries. He had his injections last week, um, which set us back a little bit with sleeping and stuff like that. He, he was very fussy, bless him, and cried for like two, three days. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. I love mums and papas anyway. Um, before all that, I've kind of got the you know the Caro, I've got the Full Works, um, and I've just kind of started my um, social media journey. My Instagram was created when I was about four months pregnant, and it was it was just a documentary of of the journey going from two to three, um, and I just really enjoyed it. I mean, the, the mum community online is incredible, absolutely insane. Um, and it was someone else that tagged me in it. I didn't even realise that it, you know, it was happening. Um, but once I saw it, I just thought it's, you know, it's just going to be a great experience. I guess, to me personally, it's a bit of self-care. I remember in pregnancy, um, all my friends with babies said, you know, you've just got to give yourself a little bit of time to just kind of hold on to what you were before this because it's so consuming um, just remember to take care of yourself a little bit even if it's just a couple of hours a week just give yourself a bit of time um, but in regards to baby um, enjoy every single moment because it goes so fast I know that's cliche but I've come here again like I said with a nine week old thinking he was definitely going to be the youngest it feels like two minutes ago I had him and is is not is is past two months is not a newborn anymore so yeah enjoy every single second take plenty of photographs so I sit in bed almost every night going through them like oh my gosh I don't remember him losing his hair when did that happen <laughs> one he pulled his head up because every every as soon as his head goes back, I'm like, oh my gosh! Oh. So yeah, I'm excited for him to be able to hold his head up um, and for him to say his first words, absolutely. Um, and to just create memories as a three, a family of three. Um, I'm just excited. I think seeing um, my partner, my husband with him, um, I can't wait to, to see what their relationship grows into and their bond. That's just going to be amazing. He's very outdoors, he's his dad, so I'm excited to see him in his little wellies. What, following him around like a little duckling. <laughs> Incredible. Um, scary. I think when you look at him and you think, oh God, I'm like wholly responsible for a human being. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's hard. Especially when you go out of the house, um, anything can happen. But yeah, incredible, scary and um, exciting. I know that's a mundane word. It kind of gives you a purpose. Um, I, if I'm honest, I was never been and like massively maternal. Um, so it was when it happened. Um, when I wasn't. 100% sure like how I felt about it. I knew I was excited but I was it was covered by nerves um, and I was a bit scared and as soon as I started you, you, you feel like a mum as soon as you're pregnant basically it hits you it's like a switch um, and then when he's he, when you've got here I just it gives you everything else that mattered before just doesn't anymore you know uh, vain things like I don't know going to the gym five times a week and having freshly washed hair and a clean house none of it matters it just gives you such a purpose and to watch him grow and smile it's just, it's just everything <laughs>